they do flight crew, FTC, flight team stand up. We got the number eight ranked Miami Heat at the number two ranked Boston Celtics. Game one, round three of the 2023 Eastern Conference playoffs. The Heat, Dr. Seuss, Butler, wake up at 5 a.m., uh, Jimmy. Love it, Kevin. Adam Mayo, Lowry, Kyle, Tyler, Hero, Tyler. The Vincent dude. Heisler, and the rest are nobodies. The Celtics, Robert Jalen, Smarter Marcus, Tatum, and Jason. The Williams dude, Derek White. Uh, Williams. Dude, the other one. The great ways, just like two of them, right? <laughs> what? Yeah, you know I'm saying. The rest of nobody. All right. First game of the Eastern Conference. Looks like his hero is still out with an injury. That's crazy. He must really be bad. They made the difference with him in the lineup in game six, facing elimination in Philadelphia. Kevin Love, Adebayo, congested inside, but he got the two. Oh. His defense, though, is calling card with a drive here by Smart. Whoa! With him in the starting unit. Oh, Horford of Alf grab out to the line, my bad. Ooh, look at that outlet, though. Tatum. Jason, I'm doing that dunk in June. Can't wait, man. Right around the corner, guys. Let's go. He's going 50 and 0 all month, man. No question. He's shooting 44% from three in the playoffs coming in. Butler's now down at six. His first quarters have been terrific most of these playoffs. Got Tatum and Jason pulling it up. Top of the key. I don't know why, it just feels weird seeing the Celtics. Like, it seems like the, the, the Sixers are supposed to be the ones uh, going into the, uh, the third round, but... Y'all make y'all predictions in this series? What do y'all got? I really feel like this is the type of series to go to seven games. I feel like both these teams are kind of even. If Hero is able to come back for the Heat, they may have a slight advantage, but still it's kind of even. So I expect the same back and forth seven game series of this one. Got Butler and Jimmy pulling back for Mitty. 4-2, and here we are in the conference finals. Lowry on job, out of bio, Got Lowry, Kyle, bobbing and weaving. Just going to step back like that. Sheesh. Got about the bride in the lineup, my bad. He's out of bio. had trouble with that shoulder on and off. And you see again right here. He said Adam Mayo has a shoulder injury. He's playing, though. Okay. I like those. He's going to have those shots and ability to drive the ball. Opportunities to drive the ball all night. But he's back in the zone. Tatum. Robinson goes out on the Twirly White. Nice defense of John Rodgers. Got Rodgers. Right Robinson brought it in. Play it up. <laughs> Look at Lowry. It's a late block, buddy. Oh, I've got about the Robinson dude. My bad. Wednesday. Today is Wednesday. It feels like a Monday. I don't know why. And one. Now, Lowry with a strong step back. <laughs> he said, bro, he had a yank on him. Sheesh! Old man love. Brown and Jim, have you scored a damn thing, brother? And one! It's about time. Can't rely on Tatum to me carry you, buddy. Got smart, pass it out. Four first first bucket in the last two series. Bro, yo, look at this man. Yo, I can't believe I've seen this last second. Yo, look at this dude. Look at this man's celebration, bro. Is this man serious? This is a grown ass man. Hey, it's one three, doesn't know how to act. They said Smart has nine assists in the first half. Okay. Three times in the last four trips. Tatum trying to find some space with 13. Takes it inside. I don't think y'all saw that. Tatum trying to find some he split space right in between those two, bro. 
Bro, right in between those two bros. If his foot would have got there a second late, that would have been a dangerous play too, low key. Not even that. Like he wouldn't even got through. That was nice. That's gonna be on one of those like top playoff plays. And one. Looks like the Heat are losing by like thirty right now. It might just come down to home court advantage, and it sucks because they got home court advantage, huh? Seven off the bench. He can do that? Oh, up in the way! The other Williams dude. He's upgraded from an L.A. fitness player to his actual government last name. Up, up in the way! Because of that. 11 assists was feeling like Rondo from back in the day. Horford. <laughs> Yo, he thought he was hand pulling it up. Love, that's off too. Old hand on old hand. Yo, the Celtics? How did y'all. Who did the score? Cherry picking. Dr. Seuss missed and got it. Green eggs in there. The Heat upside this game. It came all the way back to 30. Brown! Pulling up. Damn. Adam Mounty's getting the weight roll. <laughs> now, Tatum got. Yeah, now, Tatum ain't gonna lie. Tatum got upper body strength. The thing is, is that, like, if Tatum kind of knows how to use it more, like, driving into, like, the lane more and knows... One thing I was going to say, he did, like, a, a Euro step sometime during the video, and I wanted to actually pause and say and uh, say it, but then a crazy other play came up, and I just forgot about it. But anyway, if Tatum actually gets in the gym and works on his footwork with those Euro steps and does some, like, dribbling routines and, like, you know what I'm saying, off the drill moves, bro... Bro, he can become, like, I, I ain't gonna lie, like a prime, like, mellow, like, Knicks version or some shit. Like, his first two years with the Knicks. Not the no, just Carmelo, just that nudge just break Carmelo different. You know what I'm saying? But I think Tatum has that potential to get, like, explosive. Because, like, the thing about, like, that separates them two, Melo has them Euro steps on a lot. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know what I'm saying? He can dribble fast with the ball and everything. And he has handles and everything like that. Way better. So, Tatum works on those. Because, bro, he already got the upper body strength. Bro, Adam Mayo went flying all the way from Boston to, like, bro, North Dakota. Adam Mayo is, like, 6'11". Like, they say I think he's almost, like, 290 or something like that. Bro, I think it's probably fake stats what he bench presses. Anything of his numbers like that, bro. He needs to get in the weight room. This is a grown-ass man. He's throwing around, bro. <laughs> Because it looks like, as a male, looks like a damn, like, a stocky build linebacker, running back almost. Tatum should be the one going flying. Wow. Dr. Seuss. Oh! Damn, he got back like a little kid. Got to mail you in a point guard, baby. Oh, hell no. I mean, bro, Mark is smarter, Mark is six months, bro. Anybody can I can truck him, too. Shoot, shoot. Shooters, you never got caught in Dr. Seuss. Holy. Undrafted, he's in there right now, setting the screen, switch on defense. Butler. Butler, Butler Jimmy. White, Pulling and it up. They just ran a floppy action. I haven't seen it much since Ray Allen. You know, you obviously ran it a lot, but. Tatum harder to the right. He's got 24. Pritchard, Brogdon, Clayton, Martin. Damn. <laughs> My man brought in just casually mix matching. Team Carlos is green and white, but he looks like he in the Chicago Bulls of colorway. Yo, my assistant principal from fourth grade getting rejected. That's crazy. 
How you doing? Damn! Bro, they just seriously replay this? It was that good? Rodman again? Alright, guys. Rodman is a special character of the night. He's the main character in Boston. They gave him a replay the same one two times. No angles and nothing changes. It's insane. <laughs> we got top of the fourth. Boston. Brown Jelly needs to step up, bro. He's like to score three points. Oh! There we go. Hey, getting them hang time on the braids. I see you. His hair getting a little gross. Butler Jimmy. Quick pass. Man, Avery Mill has the most casual layup package, bro. That's all he does, bro. Just sits in there, gets 10 seconds in the paint. Quick layup, bro. No mid-range game, no three-pointer, no footwork. Mid-defense. I guess. That's an all-star, though, huh? Players like Jermaine O'Neal would have ran him out the league back in the day. But look, Jimmy with that uh, mini. Damn, Tatum getting stripped. Brown got his back. Ooh. Why do I feel like I heard a whistle? I wonder if the refs actually be blowing a whistle. Pause. When they don't mean to, just like. Oh! Nah, bro. Butler is turning into MJ in the playoffs, bro. What the? Fuck? Yo! No call. Wrestle looks like they're letting him play out in the play. And the game is over, I guess. Before I even got to finish the sentence, <laughs> they fast forwarded like a whole 10 minutes, I guess. The Miami Heat have won. Wow. It looked like the Celtics was going to be a whole blowout. <laughs> and then the Heat literally steal this. All right, let's go ahead and look at the box and we'll look at it and see if there's any um, extra clips. Honestly, a mid-finish by the Celtics. You got to be disappointed if you're Boston, bro. You're at home opening game one. Now, one thing I can't say, I got to keep it fair. I will keep it fair and say that the Celtics had less of a rest, you know what I'm saying, compared to the Heat. Similar situations to the Warriors. Now, I'm not a fan of none of these teams, but the NBA, like I said, has to do a different, a better job of giving the players a break to rest period, bro, between these playoff games. Because not even 48 hours ago, the Celtics just finished playing the Sixers. Am I right? You know what I'm saying? It was like Sunday. It's Wednesday now. It's two days, damn near. You know what I'm saying? From when they technically play, because, you know, we don't watch full sports games because I have a life. So this game is finished, and you see the time on the bottom line. It's 9.30. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, when did the game start usually? Uh, when, when, when it was like four or something like that? So bro, that's, not, that's almost just right on two days of a rest period. Compared to the Heat, they almost had two weeks, I believe. You know what I'm saying? So you also got to keep that into mind. But, uh, hey, I guess. Butler and Jimmy with 35 points. Hey. I'm not going to lie from what it looks like in a play. See, in my opinion, bro, I think the NBA needs to redo how they do these MVP votings, bro. I feel like they need to do, they need to finish off these MVP votings, bro, based on like maybe going up to like clipping it to like the third round or maybe even the finals. Because I feel like late in the playoffs or early in the playoffs, I mean, bro, a lot of these players start to stand out and it makes it much more of a difference and it proves much more of a skill asset. For example, Butler and Jimmy all seasons averaging about 15 to 17 points. Some nights he's even storing 10. You know what I'm saying? The regular season, he looks like a consistent casual. But in the playoffs, bro, he's putting up better numbers than B, bro. And B couldn't even put these numbers up to save his team, which was in game seven, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, Butler looks like the MVP, bro. Right now, <laughs> I hate to say it, even if he like he Butler looks more of an MVP compared to even because I, I said Curry should win the MVP. I could not even dare to put Butler ahead of Curry right now in to terms of the MVP. I feel like the NBA needs to do it based a little bit like in the first and the second round of the playoffs because let's be honest, the first and the second round of the playoffs is kind of like part of the regular season, but not really. You know what I'm saying? Because at the same time, every game matters, but at the same time, certain teams do take games off because it's like multiple games in the playoffs. So, at the same time, bro, you got to think about that. Okay, 20 for Abbott Mayo, 15 for the 10-day uh, contract player. Dr. Seuss with 15. Ella, 10-day contract player with 15. And Larry Cowell with 15. 30 for Tatum and Jason. Brown and Jalen at 22. Seemed like he didn't score that much. I guess the highlights didn't make it seem like he did anything. 
And honestly, looking at the Celtics box store, it doesn't even look that bad. To be honest, I think the Celtics just flopped, bro. They sold. You you were you were up by like thirty plus points at halftime, and then it just looks like you guys just like took like 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 just took uh your your foot off the gas pedal, bro. Because these are really decent store box stores. You know what I'm saying? Even like your casuals, Derek White, Brogdon, they scoring over ten plus points. You know what I mean? We're not gonna expect thirty points from these players. And then Brown, he's a twenty plus point per game averager. And then Tatum putting up thirty points right here. I don't understand how the Celtics lost this game. It don't make any type of sense. How do you end up losing a game when you're up by three like this and you have a decent, pretty decent, like, bot store? Like, all your players did their part, it looks like. Because sometimes some of these stats, man, it'd be really strange how they, like, unfold because, like, if you would think, like, the Celtics would have won at least by, like, one or two points. Like, they lost by almost 20 after being up by 30. All right, so let's go ahead and look at any uh, NBA chat slips. Uh, maybe one or two interviews. Let's wrap it up. The Celtics have sold game one at home. Going to be a lot of uh, angry Boston fans on that way home in the car ride. You th you think they said any uh, bad words and names to the players leaving the locker room? I've been hearing about these Celtics fans. What's going on with y'all uh, saying weird things to like players? i seen a, um, a clip of LeBron actually. Um... That they he said that uh, he hates playing in Boston because like they apparently like they're racy like the most racy like sports franchise or whatever, allegedly you know what I'm saying and like not even like with LeBron there's like a whole bunch of other players like, hey man y'all gotta chill out man you don't want to have a bad rep for that you know what I'm saying because you also have players that end up being playing for y'all franchise in the future and like you have superstars that play for your franchise you know what I'm saying as Tatum and Brown and Jalen so. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's, uh, hopefully that stuff isn't true. The NBA. Let's start with John Moran. Uh, because we've seen again another... another. Oh, team. yeah. Speaking about that. Oh, you know what's crazy? <laughs> I honestly didn't even read the title. So I would just choose NBA chat clips. I just... So I have my FC brothers and sisters. They uh like literally like link me like the, the, the clips and everything like that to watch after... You know what I'm saying? I watched the, uh, the full game highlights. Um, you know, of everything like that. And I didn't even read the title. But I was actually going to want to go on to Adam Silver. You know what I'm saying? And because I was so mad because we looked at John Morant had a, uh, he had his first statement about what happened about like his being second time being caught with him basically. And then now Adam Silver basically had a uh, a section where he talked about it. But honestly, not thinking about it, I think it may have been safe to sorry not reacting to it because it was directly from ESPN. And if it's directly from like the ESPN you know what I'm saying? Um, usually, sometimes it'd be copyright and everything like this, but everything else like this is straight right here. So, like, we're cool to, like, react to it in its full. So, and this is actually fresh right here, too. Charles Barkley, um, and it looks like Shaq, and uh, um, I forget these two in the middle, uh, you're going to be talking about. So, let's see what they talk about. Live, apparently brandishing a handgun. And um, so, can you tell me? What would be now, in all honesty, man, I said what I said. <laughs> Look at these guys in the background, <laughs> the far left side next chat. Um, I said honestly what I had to say about uh, Jaja, man, and everything like that. Uh, I feel like I spat so many facts, you know what I'm saying, and in my piece about it. Um, so, you know, we're just at the listening point. So, if you don't really see me uh, pause to, unless they say some like out, out, like, out, like crazy stuff, you know what I'm saying, where it's like, you know, I'm going to butt in my opinion, but if you see me for the most part, we're just kind of listening in and everything like that. It's fresh, too. Uh, appropriate punishment. Well, I, I think before we get to punishment, Ernie, I think we need to understand the situation and the, the levity of the situation. Uh, a lot of people say, well, you know, what did he do? He flashed a gun. Some people have been saying there, and then other people are saying, hey, this guy is a flashing a gun, and that's serious offense. The NBA has a morality clause that in everyone's contract let's start there that expresses about violence racism all types of different things that could be sort of morality flashing guns will be part of that and when adam silver brings you in the office and says we're going to suspend you a game and this is part of the morality clause why are you going to do it bro it's funny because like just think about the nba commissioner and like the way he just explained it it just makes it seem like the principal of like the schools calling us the bad kids to like, you know what I'm saying, the office to think about what uh, punishment they're going to give them. Job about to get that uh, that that two-week suspension and then an ISS in-school suspension. Then you do it again. Hold lunch. There's something wrong with you. I, hear a lot I don't know how y'all ISSs did it. Comment down below. <laughs> but like in our school, 
So like, if you in the ISS, usually like, you know what I'm saying, you're in like a, a you know, a section off room all day with like one teacher that like completely like hates his job and hates what he does with like a limited amount of like kids, probably like 15 to 20 at most with the same exact, you know, or around the punishment or whatever they, that they did or whatever in the same category be to be in ISS. And then like, instead of you having like the regular school lunch that, you know, you know, they can be hot or whatever, they make you have like the cold lunch and all that stuff. Like it was like the, the funniest thing. Charles and Shaq about, oh, he's got to get new friends. Let me know how y'all uh, ISS not your goes friends, down. It's you. And, and, it isn't and then usually like the teachers sing Or maybe shit to you're the, the friend that they shouldn't be around. Because you have the access, the power, and the money. And John Moran is just at a point in his, in his life where he has to make a decision. Do I, am I going to be hold myself accountable to a higher standard? And if, he, and if he chooses to do that, he can move on. Because he hasn't hurt anyone to this point yet. He has only looked foolish. That's his only crime right now, is being foolish and, and possibly influencing NBA followers. The next step is something happens. And because... He's putting himself in a world where you're saying, I'm flashing guns because I'm going to use them. And there are people out here in this world that look for target people like John Moran. It's okay. You want to be that? Let's see if you're really about that. Because you do have a lot of access that we don't have, those people in those world. And that's where John Moran has to make that decision himself. So punishment is always going to be accountable. Whatever uh, he, he uh, gets from Adam Silver, but his inability to understand that it's him it's not his friends, so I don't want to hear everyone talk. Oh, his friends, and he needs it. It's him who's making that decision. And we've all had friends that are influenced positively and negatively. Well, first of all, I, I got to say something. Bro, like, and my thing, and this is, like, one of the very few times that I pause, bro. Like, I see a lot of people, like, trying to, like, be different and be like, why do you keep talking about his friends, this and that, his friends, and this and that? It's like, obviously, duh. At the end of the day, it's Jai's decision on what he's doing, and it's 100% his fault. You know what I'm saying? Because I basically had that same example what I had referred to. Basically, like, if you are if you had some, like, issue or beef like that, and then your homeboys want to sit there and influence you, you go push your shit back or whatever, and then you go and do it. Obviously, it's your fault, even though you got influence to do it. You know what I'm saying? This and that. But in this case and scenario... A lot of people aren't looking at it in the bigger picture, bro. And I'm going to continue to argue this, bro, because a lot of people I feel like just don't understand when it comes to just like being at peace and just being a low key and having pro a low profile and just not wanting to just be all, all, all in the camera when you don't need to. And that is when it comes to like, it seems like Jaws friends, like they, bro, they just like to get Instagram. They just like to be on live, bro. You know what I'm saying? It, not, I, like I said, and Nothing is a hundred percent there. I said it's a 50 50 thing. It's more of Josh's fault because he decided to pull that out, have his little extra quick, quick draw, whatever this and that. But at the same time, you also got to put like a percentage of blame on the friend. Stop trying to be different and just being like, oh, the friend has no issues whatsoever and what's so this and that. Like, bro, why is you live if that's supposed to be your friend? I don't even think that. I think I said it too in the, uh, the last reaction of it too when we talked about it. Like, bro, that, that that's not his first time. I'm pretty sure those are, like, his, like, day one or just, like, his, his early day friends or at least close friends that he's known for more than, like, two plus years. Like, bro, that's not your first time. Like, why is you on live? Like, that's your first time seeing this guy. You know what I'm saying? Like, that gives off groupy vibes. Like, and that's people I honestly – so I don't know about you guys, but me, I would never want to be around niggas that just, like, be live. Like, on Instagram live. Like, you can maybe, like, maybe, like, once in, like, motherfucking, like, two years type shit – Asking me my permission ahead of time and making sure there's nothing else like incriminating around and stuff like that. But bro, if you let's say if I'm hanging out around you for this and this is like for you guys, I want you to like take free game of this. You should not want to be around any type of people like that, bro. That's like being way too loud and being like, look at the attention on me. Hi, look at me. I got all the attention. That that screams off that type of vibes, bro. Like I would never want to be like around that type. That's groupy type of vibes. Like, just, like, just putting everything aside. Like, forget the flash and the strap. Forget, like, this and that. Like, why is this man just, like, bro, is he, they look like they just woke up and they're going to go get a Chick-fil-A breakfast run, bro. <laughs> this man is hopping on live, bro, as soon as they hop in the whip, showing the back seat logo of the car. Like, bro, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's not that, like, I would never, I'm just trying to put y'all, like, on free game to see what I'm telling y'all where I'm coming from. Now, I'm not trying to, like, drag it. But it's just like simple things. And I actually, it's funny because 
I be tapped in with like certain like podcasts I watch sometimes when I be like getting ready, you know what I'm saying, for the day I like to like listen to like long hour podcasts and everything like that. Like, you know, when I'm like getting ready to the day or whatever like that. So like I listen to Gil's Arena. I, I watch Gil's a really, really fi a fire podcast, you know, especially, especially uh, 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 ex-superstar NBA player, Hall of Famer and everything like that. And he talks about just basically like the uh, the truth and everything behind the NBA season and everything like that. Bro, he talked about the John Moran and he's literally saying the same exact thing that I'm saying, bro. Why is his friend on live? So for you people... Saying and not even just on live, just like just just giving groupie vibe. You could just tell by the way he's just like on the phone. Like bro does not know how to act. Like he can't wait to tell like other people like that don't know Ja and want to get close to Ja. Like what the day was like and like how everything is and just want to to, to experience every second of life on being with Ja. Like that just that that to me is just weird, bro. I would never want to be around anybody that is on Instagram live all the time. Just like what do you like? Because then at that. Too, you also got to put it this way Ja is a damn, um, is, 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 is a face of the NBA, this and that. Okay, so it's just like he can't sometimes you can't look all you got to kind of be not all the time turning up. It may sound silly, but if you sit up there, like you know, what I'm saying what's good, bro, this and that, people are gonna be like, oh my gosh, like is, is, is Ja like feeling sad or stuff like that? Like he's almost forcing a position to turn up. Now, him quick drawing the I can't defend him on that part. That's that's not <laughs> nobody told you to do all that, you know what I'm saying? But you know, at the end of the day, I hope what I had just basically explained, and this is what it, it's a blessing, you know what I'm saying, to have a platform the way I do it. They say FC Brothers and Sisters, man, because I feel like I can, you know, you know, speak out and say a lot of things that people wish they could say and then into the depth. You can't just look at it just one side and just completely 100% blame job. Yes, 95.5% blame job. And it's the same thing I've been saying. 95% of the blame is on job, majority of it. But you have to give 5 or 10% the blame to his friends, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you you, you just have to. <laughs> if you're just saying that it has no impact on how he's acting, bro, you're delusional, bro. And, it, and, it, and it's the same type of parents that are just wondering, like, oh, my gosh. Like, you start let, being comfortable and letting your child, like, hang around, like, all these types of people and stuff because you want to be the cool parent and don't want to be too, too strict and want them to have a fun childhood. And then you want to know why they're doing, like, the craziest things or starting to act different and stuff like that, bro. Like, bro, those, no, like, man, we got some the, idiots, the some peers have an influence, too. Doesn't matter the money. It really just pissed me off. You hang, I think, I believe Gil said that, too, in his podcast. Like, he was like, you hang around nothing but bums, you're going to do bum shit. You know what I'm saying? Same thing, you hang around nothing but rich people, you're going to end up eventually wanting to do rich people. So you hang out with people that do stupid-ish or whatever like that, you're going to end up doing stupid-ish. It's just, it's a, it's law of attraction. Basically, you know what I'm saying, bro. It's like a lot of free game, man. I get <laughs> right. Be feeling like, bro, this be this be costing millions of dollars. I'm spending. John should make us. I'm teaching fans. literally life lessons, types of inspirational ish that teachers will not talk to you about. A teacher probably today talked to you something about that happened in 12. 87 or 13 80 uh, or 55 and that nobody doesn't he didn't break about, you know? any laws but he didn't do anything wrong we're in a state where you can let's hear the rest of this out those guys are just, very very interesting just what's going on freaking like, idiots and i only said freaking because y'all won't let me say what i want to say it's we just don't all for it. It, it, it pisses me off when i hear guys say that yo man when you're making a hundred million dollars a year to play sports your life changes there are certain rules and regulations you have to live by, plain and simple. You can't do stupid stuff. That's the trade-off. Now, if you want to do all that stuff and give all that money back, more power to you. You can make that stance. You know what? I want to do what I want to do. I want to flash my gun and make videos and do things. Okay, that's fine. But you can't make money on the NBA doing this stuff. I, I just hope that he grows up and realizes, like, yo, man, First of all, you're not a thug. You're not a criminal. You're not a crook. You're a guy making a hundred million dollars a year to dribble a two hundred. Two hundred million to dribble a stupid basketball. And it, you hit the lottery. We all hit the lottery to do something. That's people out there work nine to five, eight and nine hours a week, gonna make twenty-five thousand dollars a year. They will kill to be in our situation. And you know, Kenny's right, at some point it's not your friends. Bill Parcells used to always say, and I love, he says, yo, man, you're just an unlucky dude. Bad stuff happen around you all the time. You're just an unlucky dude. No, 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 man. You got to look in the mirror and say, yo, you know what? Maybe I'm the problem. And it's, it's disappointing 
because the kid's a great player. But to be like, to be a fool already, then be a bigger fool a couple months later. And this is like your fifth or sixth six gun thing. And like I say, hey, I'm a guy. I'm oh, yeah, a I didn't have guy. the other ones. I was like, what's But about? I don't understand why you're flashing it. My bodyguard teaches me, man, if you touch your gun, you better shoot somebody. It ain't for everybody to know you got. And he riding around with, I guess he think he would Anquan Fuqua and Steven Spielberg. You got your friend, friend cold friends filming you. They're idiots, too. And Thank I'm you. I'm just sad, Ernie, because... It's just bad. it's a bad look. It's, it's it's disappointing. I'll get to you in a second, Shaq. I think it's disappointing too, given the fact that after that first meeting with the commissioner and a very contrite sounding John Morant after that, uh, look, I have to learn from this and I have to move on. And I, Ernie, there is a I lot of contrite things people know, in, in prison finish? right now. That I can give I, you a great I story. Know. Can I finish? Can I finish? And that's that's what's disappointing. The conduct is disappointing, and I just feel like he's he's tried to put a foot in two worlds and when you try to put a foot in this one and in this one's almost like like you're bro i'll like tell you one thing yo 2k24 better be fired because they got literally like a storyline that they can literally just copy bro so right on the mic way make sure y'all working and get to it fuck ronnie got a foot in this boat and a foot in this boat and it's only gonna it's gonna <coughs> end, it's gonna fall in a bad way no question i said last time we can't do things to put ourselves in jeopardy. You know, last time the incident happened, that was a mistake. And I'm trying to explain to people, it's the difference between a mistake and a choice. Oh, that's a mistake. Look at all these guys in the background, brother. And decide to punch you, <laughs> that's a choice. He made a choice to pull his phone out the first time when he in the club with no shut off. To hit the line Bro, button. you know what's Wait. crazy? What if this whole thing, like, he, Ja was doing a music video, bro? And then, like, it was for, like, Young Boy's, like, future music. Because Young Boy just dropped a new um, album, I think. If it is, bro, everybody got to come out with apologies, including me. I mean, it's not like that bash job or whatever. I just gave him basically advice and just, to, like, chill out. But I'm pretty sure he's obviously still in trouble. What if this whole thing was just for a music video and he still gets all that into all that backlash and trouble? Because there wasn't, like, a couple of rappers that did it. Like, uh, I believe... Um, uh, it, it, it shit. It was it was my man uh, uh Polo, and it was like a couple of others that did it like in a music video like recently. His friend made a choice the second time to hit the live button. He saw the camera in his face. He made the choice, not thinking. He has to understand there's there's written laws and unwritten laws. Do what you like, right? But Chuck makes a great point. Kenny makes a great point. And, and a lot of people are arguing, a lot of these idiots are arguing. They never heard the term morality clause. But you're in a billion dollar corporation now. You can't do that. It's an unwritten law. You can't do that. Right? You, you can't do it. And, and, and not only that, you got kids looking up to you, brother. Kids want to be like you. Ever since the, you know, the absence of the other guy, they're talking about you having the highest selling sneaker. Like, you have a... You have a you have a responsibility. Wait, what do you right? say the other guy? Charles, he's not is a that shade? He, he's not a role model, but one thing I like about Charles is he's honest. He says his own mind, and he's a kind person. So when you're in that position, you got a responsibility. And again, the two times that got himself in trouble, him and his boy made the choice to show the world what he was doing. You don't hit that button. We don't know what you're doing in Memphis. Yeah, I, I agree with Shaq and that regarding We don't know what you're doing in Memphis. And, and he had another point. Most of the people that's going to talk about this, with the exception of maybe these two guys up here, and in some part, my, I, I could say some part of that, have never been responsible or solely responsible for a multi-billion dollar corporation. If Shaquille O'Neal gets hurt when he's a Los Angeles Lakers, the Lakers lose billions of dollars. If John ja Morant does something, the Memphis Grizzly and the NBA loses billions. No one talking has ever been in that position. And unless you've been in that position, you understand the responsibility that comes with that other than only the written law, which Shaq says. And, and, and Ernie, and only, and, and, go ahead. In part of our life, there's things in our contract, <laughs> like like simple things, not even getting to the gun thing. Hey, you just can't, can't skydive. You can't, can't ski. Yes. You can't skydive. You can't ride a motorcycle. And every fool at home would say, wait, y'all gonna give me $100 million and all I gotta do is 
not drive around with a gun, no motorcycle, no skiing, like, oh, I want that job. And that's part of the stuff. But, man, I'm seeing these fools on television talking about he should hold his ground, talking about I didn't break any laws. I'm like, see, you guys ain't never made no money. So, so yeah, and then say- basically he's, doing a, he's probably going to talk about exactly what I was just talking about yesterday when, you know, it don't matter what job he's working. Like, for example, if you're like a lawyer or whatever like this and that, doctor, like, bro, have, you ever see a doctor just pull up the golf and like, hey, guys, how you doing? We going we gonna to make sure we going to check out this guy, this physical, like, come on, man. Like, we got we to gotta, we gotta be real with everything. Um, hey, man, I'm very, I, I think, because um, they, they, they uh, kind of like summarize what Adam Silver says, so I don't want to uh, feel like we need to see Adam Silver. Uh, we'll look at these other clips. This Butler shot was crazy. <laughs> Dude, these couple of clips, look at that Butler interview. That should wrap it up. Wow. Okay, Butler or Jimmy? And then we have Missoula throws Clifford. Who is this? All right, we got a bronze school threat badge. Who is this? He's not even a main. He's not even a coach for the Celtics, right? He's a coach. (laughs) I'm not even gonna lie, bro. Celtics might be done after this damn game, bro. This might be a damn five-game series. He got this, bro. Y'all comment down y'all predictions. I had never seen this in the playoffs. Welcome back to Boston where we are all this is like Twitter mentality Jones attitude. Last time out, not happy with the effort here by the Celtics. 14 points in the paint in just five and a half minutes no. for the Heat. And, Allie, you were in that Boston huddle. What was being said? Yeah, he was fired up as he saw, and then when he finally regathered his thoughts, he came back, drew up a play, and he said, we have to reset our minds. You think that's going to be me when Miami I'm a coach? Miami Heat take game one by seven points, and it was a massive surprise because Boston in the we first half... Butler's breakdown of the uh, chess. The 66 to 57, a nine-point of Martin, 15 call out. Breakdown score, shout out to chess. All right, let's look at uh, Butler and Jimmy's interview for uh, five seconds. It's going to wrap it up. Miami Heat with a game one victory. Jimmy, this is three straight series of starting on the road and starting with an opening victory on the road to reclaim home court advantage. Is there a similarity to the three and what does it just say about this team that you come in to the other team's house and take away home court advantage right away? We're just playing really good basketball. More than anything, we're staying together through the good and through the bad. Um, It is a game of runs and we can talk to one another. I think that's what, you know, ultimately makes me smile is the fact that when things aren't going our ways, we can look at each other eye to eye and uh, know when somebody's messing around and we can fix it. Um, I feel like we did a, a really good job on the defensive end. We shared the ball on offense, made some shots, got a win, but um, that's not a, enough for us. And we want to get another one in two days. Jimmy, through the years. Hey, I ain't going to lie, man. I'm rooting for the Heat low-key to win the finals, man. It ain't Florida team, bro. Jimmy got that dog, and it was crazy because I think they was talking about him um, when he was with the Wolves or something like that. Apparently, like, he said something to uh, his teammates, basically, like, they don't want it much. Uh, 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 some, they'll quote me on that. I don't know the exact thing, but something like they're around it, basically, like, they don't game. want it, and they're but soft, you apparently, that you said. On how high you can go. In your opinion, though, given the consistency of where you're at right now, do you think this is the highest level that your game has been at to date? I don't think so. Um, I really feel as though with anything in life, if you get the opportunity and you have the belief that my teammates, uh, my coaches, um, you know, Coach Pat, <clears throat> ownership having me to, you know, kind of lead the charge along with, with Bam right now, anything is possible. Like, I'm playing at a... I thought I was going to say some really, qu- <laughs> some high inspirational-ish and quotes. I was trying to listen to but he, he just made it talk about basketball, so it was weird. That's why I was like, but, uh, yeah, but inspirational stuff. allowing me to do so. They're not putting a limit on my game. They're trusting me with the ball on the defensive end. Um, and I think that's what any basketball player wants. That's what anybody wants out of life is just to be wanted, um, be appreciated, and just let you go out there and rock. Hey, 
Hey, Jimmy, uh, Marcus Smart had 10 assists in the first half. Hey, Jimmy. Half. <laughs> as well as he was playing, were you kind of surprised not to see him as much in the second half? Uh, no. Nah. <clears throat> I think he played well all game long. Mm -hmm. He was making all the right plays. They probably have to play the ball. Good basketball. Right. And then, uh, you know, coming coming off of Tatum had a pretty big game in game seven. Um, uh, we'll cap it all right there. I was trying to see the part because the title says, we don't care if you pick us to win, Butler says. But, hey, all right, man. Let me know y'all uh, 